Welcome to the Tool Review Channel, and for today's video, we are going to be talking about why it's important to get yourself a good level uh, for whatever trade you are in. Uh, myself, I am in the heating and air conditioning trade, and I pretty much use a level on a daily basis. There may be one day I go without using a level, uh, and that's just because I, I don't need it for that day, but most every day I use a level. Uh, hanging ductwork uh, and or mountain thermostats, uh, mainly hanging out of ductwork and making sure things are nice and level uh, so that way when you're looking at them, they don't look crooked and look horrible and you know you have to redo your work. Um, so I decided to make this video on why it's important to get yourself a good level. Now like like myself, when I first started in the trade, I, I you know I didn't want to spend a lot of money on my tools and wasn't looking to you know break the bank. Um, so, you know, most people are going to start off with a level that looks pretty similar to this. This is an empire level made in the USA, uh, and it'll be able to get the job done. I believe this is their torpedo, their, uh, I'm not really sure on the size. I believe it's like an eight inch torpedo level. Let's measure it out real quick. Uh, it's a nine inch torpedo level. Uh, and you know, it, it'll, it'll do the job and it's done the job for a couple of years for me. Uh, I, when I was in re doing a lot of residential work, this was, you know, my go-to level. Uh, it worked great for mountain unit thermostats, making sure they were level. And yes, I know there's some thermostats out there that, you know, the backing plate for the thermostat has a little built-in level to it. Uh, but you know, not all of those thermostat, not all thermostats or not all p makers of the thermostats put little levels on them. Uh, so a lot of the times you want to make sure it's nice and level. And then this also comes in handy when you're mounting disconnect boxes on the side of someone's house uh, for the air conditioner. You want to make sure that's nice and level because that's the last thing you want to have to deal with is a callback on hey why is this box you install on the side of my house running to my ac all crooked uh so this guy has definitely served uh me well uh it also ha helped me level out quite a few different uh pads for uh, a condenser to sit on uh now if you're going to use a little nine inch level to level out a pad for you know a five ton four ton three ton unit you got to make sure you move it around to all the different corners um, because this is only going to tell you if one corner is level. It is a little bit better if you have a little bit larger of a level uh, to level out the pads. Um, but this definitely did work uh, fairly well. Um, but I recently switched over to doing commercial work. And this guy just isn't really cutting it anymore. And that is because this magnet on the bottom isn't very strong. Uh, so I do find myself, you know, having it attached to some duct work. Uh, and, you know, the second you, you know, go to put a screw in that ductwork to screw a hanger onto it, this thing wants to, you know, instantly fall off the ground. Uh, and it is more of that plastic design. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys out there. And I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about uh, with that. So I have some some steel right here. So I have some thick gauge steel right here and some thin gauge steel, some L bar. Uh, so what we call it. And we typically like to hang our ductwork off this L bar. I'm not really concerned if this L bar is level or not. I'm more concerned if my ductwork is level or not. Um, but we'll get a little look at how strong this magnet is. So as you can see, it will stick to it, and you are able to pick up this lighter gauge uh, material. But you know, you, you you tap it or you move, you, you slight movement, and the magnet just kind of drops that piece of metal. Uh, so that was the thin gauge metal. We'll see how well it performs with this thicker gauge metal. So again, it will stick to the thicker gauge metal, but you know, picking it up, as you can see, is a little bit challenging. It, it can't quite do it sometimes, but other times it can. And again, the camera's probably gonna shake here, but you know, the slightest of movements and the, the level does fall off. So, and another thing to note, <laughs> when that does happen, uh, it, it, this is gonna fall to the floor and it tends to fall, you know, anywhere from eight to, you know, 12 feet onto the floor and sometimes even higher uh just depend depending on you know where you're working so this definitely does this definitely has taken quite a few falls to the floor uh, and it has it has held up fairly well but you know i just decided that it's time to i guess quote unquote retire uh the tool um to take it out of my bag and not use it as much it, it, it's gonna make a good backup level and i'll always carry it in my van um but i did decide to you know go ahead and upgrade to a klein uh, level right here uh, this is, I think it's a billet aluminum. They mill it out of aluminum, if I'm not mistaken. And then they put the little vials in there. And I've been using this guy pretty much for a couple months now. I would say and it's definitely a lot better than just this guy uh, right here. This one, you have your normal level. You got your 90 degree and you have your 45 degree offset. Whereas this Klein, you also include a 30 degree offset, which, I mean, I don't really use the 45 or the 30 degree offsets. 
Uh, for me, I mainly use the 90 and the normal level right there. Uh, but for you electricians out there, or maybe some of you plumbers out there, definitely the electricians, you know, running your condo, you want to make sure you have all your offsets correct. This probably is going to work a little bit better for you. I think Client Action makes one that is able to clamp onto conduit, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Um, but we'll go, we'll go ahead and see how uh, well this guy sticks. So this one, you know, you got this orange uh, coating on here. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to wear away just a little bit, but, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely the bottom of it definitely gets scratched up. And unlike that Empire lever, you have four magnets uh, right there. And these are actually fairly strong magnets, which is nice. So we're going to go ahead and start off with this thinner gauge metal. And as you can see, there's definitely quite a bit sound of a sound difference. And you can move it all around all you want. And you're not going to be losing a grip on there, uh, which is nice, especially when it comes to hanging duct work. If I can get this guy off here real quick. When it comes to nice to hanging duct work. Uh, you just stick this guy on the bottom of the ductwork, and you're able to, you know, make sure it's nice and level. Uh, it looks good without having to worry about this guy falling down to the ground. And now we're going to go ahead and see how well it'll stick to this thicker gauge metal uh, right here. And just like the thinner gauge metal, you can move it all around. And those four magnets definitely do uh, hold on very tightly to the metal, uh, which is nice. Now, I believe this is made in Taiwan, if I'm not mistaken, but it is definitely a fairly nice tool from Klein. Uh, so this is the Klein one. Uh, I, I pretty much recommend this one if you're looking to get a nice torpedo level. It's 9 inch uh, in size. Um, but if you really want to get fancy and you really like to take care of your tools, or if you collect tools, you can get yourself a Stabilo level right here. Now you only have your 45, your 90, and just your you know your standard level right there. I believe this is a die cast um, level. Now the one thing that makes Stabilo levels uh, fairly unique is I'm not sure how they do it, uh, but all of their vials are encased are encased in acrylic. So if you do drop it, you don't really have to worry about the the vial itself breaking. Yeah, you're gonna ding up the tool a little bit, but you know, all your vials are encased in that acrylic, which is nice. Uh, and I'm sure if you keep dropping it a bunch of times, you're eventually going to crack the acrylic, um, but the vial should stay intact. Uh, and then, you know, you got, you know, the Stabilo name, you got this nice hole cut out. So if you know you wanted to hang this on something or you wanted to clip it onto your tool belt or maybe tether the tool off if you're using it at a height and you don't want it to fall on someone, you can definitely do that right there. Uh, and this one just kind of features a magnet back here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and test it out on some metal. And those of you unfamiliar with Stabila, they are a, you know, a, a German company. So this tool is made in Germany. So we're going to go ahead and test it out on that light gauge metal. And just like the client, it just kind of sucks that metal up. And you can shake that all around and it's not really going to fall off. Uh, but you can maneuver it off of the level a little bit easier than the Klein uh, with that only the magnet being there. Instead of having those four separate ones like you do on the Klein, um, you are able to pull the metal off. So that was the thinner gauge metal um, right there. So I'll bring this thicker gauge metal in and we'll see how well it does. And as you can see, it is able to pull it up and you can shake the you can shake that piece of metal all around and definitely get a good um, magnetic pull on there. Um, so overall, uh, it really just comes down to uh, what you can afford when you first start off into the first start off into whatever trade you are doing. Um, like I said, these are fairly affordable. I think they're like nine, ten dollars at you know pretty much Home Depot Lowe's. Everyone has something that looks fairly similar to this. Uh, Empire, it's either it's blue or it's orange or whatever color it is. Uh, they all pretty much are the exact same with that magnet on the bottom. Um, whereas these, you know, billet aluminum and these die cast ones are going to cost a little bit more and you may not have the, the funds to spend on it or you may, maybe you're unsure if you really want to do, if you really want to work in the trade and you don't want to spend a lot of money up front, uh, the Empire is definitely a good option for you. But eventually when you progress a little bit further into the trade, I do recommend that you uh, upgrade to a nicer level kind of like this, uh, especially if, you know, you're hanging a lot of duck work or if you definitely, if you're doing a lot of offsets. Uh, this, get one that has a stronger magnet where it's able to stick on to whatever material or whatever metal you have it, you know, that you're trying to work with. Uh, so it doesn't keep falling off on you and you just can't, eventually it's going to make you mad to the point where you're just going to want to get a new one. That's kind of how this one did where, you know, it's kind of sick of it dropping down to the floor and, you know, always falling off when we needed it. Um, so I just decided to finally just pull the trigger and upgrade. 
uh, on a climb. So that's kind of about it for this video. Kind of just, you know, my thoughts on, you know, why it's, you know, important to get yourself a good level. Um, obviously, when you first start off with, you don't need the best thing. Uh, but as you progress in your career, definitely would recommend, you know, getting a, getting yourself a nice level. Uh, so with that being said, that's all I have for this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to drop them down in the comments section below. And if you like you like tools and you want to see more content like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button. But that's all I have for this video. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.